Okay, this is the new battery array. We have quite a few batteries now, as you can see. So I've placed them about uh, two inches apart and uh, getting ready for the lugs here. I've uh, ordered a whole bunch of these right here. And what these will do is they'll go between the terminals right here. Okay, but had a really good deal on each of these batteries, about uh, $80 a piece. Uh, for the back row here. And then these are my old batteries which I've labeled. Uh, it's currently backwards but one, two, three. Um, and then I've already put the white tape on it and going to label the batteries. Uh, these are our, the uh, Optimus or Optima batteries. Uh, they were for sale. Uh, picked them up but uh, actually wrong size here. So um, got these for a little better deal. These are AGM, uh, about 103 amp hours each. Uh, these right here are about 75 amp hours, so not as good, uh, and they were actually more expensive. So I got those um, at a different battery place. These are former UPS batteries, which are uninterruptible power sources. They uh, hook up uh, to servers, uh, computers, so when the power goes out, it automatically kicks in a battery. So these were used uh, basically by a big, big server company. So what we did is uh, I just found a battery surplus dealer, negotiated down to $80 a piece, and just picked up a whole bunch. So right now we have um, probably well over uh, 1,500 hours, 18, 1,500 to 2,000 amp hours of capacity right now, which would be basically a few days. So right now I have my entire system disconnected, but I'm going to connect it as soon as I get my battery lugs in the mail. It was cheaper to find those online.